Welcome to 8 Minute Crimes and Interrogations. We put out multiple videos each week consisting of interrogations just like this one, case breakdowns, and more. So if you're a fan of consistent true crime content, consider becoming a subscriber. The absolute best way to support the channel is to subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, leave us a like. Let us know we're moving in the right direction. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. This is the third recorded interrogation of Reserve Officer Raymond McCann in regards to the November 8, 2007 abduction and homicide of 11-year-old Jody Parak. This interrogation took place on July 11, 2011, and it's disturbing in many ways. In my opinion, Detective Brian Fuller has no shame. He really starts to turn on the heat here. More case details are in the description below. I will say the first few minutes of audio is a little rough, but we did the best we could cleaning it up. Thank you for watching. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. And hey, Brian, you're scaring me. Ray, this has to be formal, okay? This has to be a little bit more formal than we're used to. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, we could, you, you've been down here, we've just been shooting the shit type right. thing, we've been talking. Um, I have to tell you about your rights. Okay. Okay. You understand I'm not going what I'm to jail, I? I told you you're not going to go to jail. <laughs> I'm just as scared as you are right now. <sighs> you got me really scared right now. You're not going to jail for someone else and bullshit. This is the word that you have for me and what's going to happen after we're done talking today. Yeah. You're going to go home. No matter what happens in here, you're walking out of this door. Okay. Okay? But the bullshit has to end today. Okay. So you don't have a contact with now, that's what you're saying, your phone's not been on. How do we get a hold of you? It it's still on. I just haven't had I just haven't been, You haven't listened to my yeah. messages? No, I just you know, listen to my sister's shit stuff. I was tired of it, you know. What is it? What's your new address going to be? Do you have one yet? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five sticks. Is that right? Yeah. Hair. Uh, it's brown. Eyes. Brown. Social security number. Um, I think I gave it to you. Oh, you, no, you did. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. <clears throat> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say any will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a present with you before or during any questioning. If you want a letter with that afford one, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense. If you waive your right to remain silent and later wish to stop answering questions, the questions will stop. If you waive your right to have a lawyer present later, change your mind, the question will stop to you talk to the lawyer. You understand these rights? You've heard them many times before, right? It's kind of the TV thing. You know, you see it on TV, you have to do it. And you need to be aware of those things. Okay? Okay. Um, the only possible way that I can go to bat for you is if you tell me the truth. Oh, oh, listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. The evidence has come full circle, and there is a part of your story, a big part of your story, that is bullshit. Like what? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? First of all, what we're going to do, like I told you before, I, you don't know how embarrassed I am from my co-workers right now because all I've done the whole time is say that you're a, a 
fucking good dude. You know what I mean? All right. And I'm the laughing, laughing stock of this whole place right now. Wow. The only possible way that that I can still have, have saved some face in this thing is for there to be an explanation for the lies that you've been caught in now. <laughs> okay, keep going. <clears throat> I need you to tell me again what you did during the day before you from work. Home? So, that is not true, Ray. What do you mean that's not true? I was home playing PlayStation and dicking around the house. That is not true, buddy. How? Okay, where was I supposed to be then? I know exactly where you are. Well, tell me then. No, you also know where you are. That's the problem. Okay, I'm not going to put words into your mouth. I We have the whole case prepared. We have everything out there. Everything is there, and your stuff is wrong. Your I'm not trying to be rude to you at all, Brian. I know you work. I, I, home? I don't know where else where was I supposed to be. I don't know where else you were supposed to be either, but I know that you weren't home. I don't, I don't think I want any more, Brian. I don't think I, you know. I wish I knew. I would, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think is the worst thing about this whole case? Shit, I'm getting blamed for. I, I guess. I mean, God damn! I did my job. At least I thought I did. Damn, Brian. Understand? Is someone trying to suck me up? I am not going to jail for somebody else's shit. I wish I knew who did it. This is my life we're talking about. Yeah. You know, I told you I trust you. I don't know who did this. I wish I did because you know what? I bring down here and slap your asses on this fucking table for the hell I've been through. My family. I might, I might agree with you there, to a degree. The, the biggest, the biggest thing to get over is fear, and it's fear of the unknown. And you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. No, I don't. There is a big difference between a monster and someone who one of two things happened. Um, something went terribly wrong and the outcome is not what was intended and that causes someone to be extremely scared to the point where they panic and now it's just one lie covering up another lie to protect that fear of something that went wrong that doesn't make you a a murderer <laughs> cover up nothing you understand what I'm saying I understand what you're saying it, it is the fear of being scared about what happened as opposed to being the other way where somebody thinks that there's this mad killer on the loose of Constantine there's a big difference there I understand the, the biggest thing that will get you 
where you need to be with yourself in your life is is the truth. Let me tell you what, Brian, when I leave here, I'm going to go talk to my sister. If she knows anything, she better fucking tell the truth because this is bullshit. Ray, I can tell you that we don't need to talk to your sister. We don't need to talk to anyone else. The only reason that I stood in the freaking rain knocking on your door today was a courtesy to you. Because this is going downhill fast for you. I don't understand why. And the only, only thing that is going to help you is for you to be truthful. And I know, I've seen it myself. I know you haven't been. I don't know what happened. I know you're going to keep asking me that. I'm not going to keep asking you. I, I, don't need, I do not need to ask you another question. Hey. You are here simply because I'm worried for you. And I thought, I thought that we had developed somewhat of a, a decent relationship. I thought so. I thought you're a good dude. I still think that you're a good guy. The problem is, I know for 100%, 2,000% that your story is wrong. I don't know what to say then. I did my job. I was supposed to do. I don't know what happened to her. I wish I would have never even went out that night to help, you know? What do you think, uh, about, uh, your son and the relationship that you're going to have with him? You, you, are you guys good? You my son? Mm-hmm. We're, he's my son and we help each other. Mm-hmm. Is he struggling with this divorce thing? My son's struggling. He wants us to be happy. We're going to move out, you know. Is he happy? Is he happy? I think he'd be happier once we're out of there. When do you think that's going to be? I keep asking. They're still working on it. I'm hoping we're out of there within a few weeks. Every time I talk to them, I say, well, a couple weeks, what's going on there? I think it was yesterday, and they're still working on it. And the people in the top part, they got to move down to the bottom, and that's where we're moving up to the top. So we're going to get stores today to get the rest of the stuff all. And then stay where? And friends. I didn't want to go in and stay at my mom's. Because of all the freaking riffraff coming in and out of there. I told you that before. I didn't want to stay at my sister's because of all the freaking drama she's got going on. This weekend, this, I don't know if you've heard what's been going on. I had to call the cops once and I just started arguing with me. I actually twice have called the cops. I've been gone for a week, but I did hear about that today when I came back and I got bombarded with all this shit. That's the new address I'll be at. So as they okay it, so as they said we can move in. How many pairs of handcuffs did you have, Ray? I had one. That's the, Which they took. That's the only one that you've ever had. I've ever had. In your whole life? 
That's the ones he gave me for a birthday present a long time ago. The only ones that you've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. How sure are you about that? Or Troy Pigeon? I think that's the only ones I ever had in my life. I think that's when I start my birthday because I didn't have any. I'm going to get in pretty big trouble for bringing you down here without even checking with my boss to tell him that I was going to talk to you today. I don't want you to get in trouble. How would you get in trouble for talking to me? Because I probably am out of line for calling you out on some of these things right now and bringing you down here without, without expressing this to them. It would be my ass. But we know scientifically that you touched your body dead, and we know without a doubt. And you put her in the cemetery. Oh, God, Brian, no, I did not. No, I did not. That doesn't make you the killer, right? I know, but you know what? I did not put her there. If I touched her at all, it was one I was pulling the mother away. And if I happened to touch her, then that's how it happened. Listen to me. I need you to hear me clear. I don't bullshit anybody. You did, honestly. All the, all the way. All the whole time we've ever talked about it, honestly. When I told you, when I called you out on not doing your job because you thought you saw her in the car over there, I mean, I was honest with you. I told you that you didn't do your job. You think you see this girl dead in the car. I've always been honest with you. And you I'm told me. honest with you right now. Okay, you told me that you, I guess, apparently know what it was in the back of that car. I'm not, I trust you on that, but I'm not 100%. Convinced that wasn't her. Okay, we're going to get beyond that right now. Okay. Because I I don't lie. I tell the truth. And there is absolutely no doubt that you put her there. Okay. Like I said before, that doesn't make you... I understand that. I know where you're going with that. But you know what? I did not put her there. And you're... People, whatever, think that. Right? No, it's not a. It's not a thinking matter. It, it's proven. Okay. There's not. I can say against it then, because I didn't put her there. You, you can say that. Say that. But you know what? I did not. Put Take it. your hat off. And look at it. Yes. I believe in Jesus. Yes, I do. What does Jesus say about things that go wrong? Would you? What do you have to? Do? You know what? I don't know if you believe in God. I hope you do. I'm but sure you know can. what? Someday we're all going to stand in front of them, and you guys are going to find out the truth. You know that? You guys are going to find out the truth. And I did not put her there. You know, one day we'll stand in front of the Lord. We'll all know. And, and I guess hopefully me and you're standing by each other. And we'll say, Ryan, I told you. You know, I do believe in the Lord. I just don't want to say this is scary, Brian. It is a scary thing. But just like you did today, you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to be breathing this air. Yeah. And guess who isn't? Yeah, I understand. The, there is a mother out there, Joe, who lost a child. Can you imagine that? No, I can't imagine that. Because I thought, about well, what if it was my kid? You know? I know 
wish I could help you. You don't know how bad I wish I could help well, you. Well, like I told you about a half a dozen times already, um, you you can't help me anymore. You can only help yourself. And if you have any faith in me whatsoever, today would be the day I, for you to respect that. I respect take advantage you. of it. I respect you, but I'm not going to confess to something I did. I'm not asking you to confess to anything. To, you know, or a part of them. I don't, you know, I don't want... I don't know what you want me to tell you, I guess. I wish I knew what happened. I do. I wish I would have never went out and helped. I wish I wish I was not even part of this police department. This police department doesn't have anything to do with this, so let's get me on that. You don't know my feelings fun. about that. Okay. Ray, you weren't at home all day. I had been. Ray, I didn't know you were. Where was I then? Well, I know you were over by Tumble Dam with your dog. What? Okay, now this is going too far. This is going too far. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why is it going too far? What's that? Because you know what? I wasn't near Tumble Dam. I wasn't out with my dog. I never walked my dog. I don't know who's giving you this information, but this is croc. This is croc, Brian. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not being rude to you. Please understand that. I understand. You can express yourself however you want to. This is croc. Do you remember, uh, you remember the radio thing? Yes, I do. Tell me about that. The little walkie-talkies. Mm -hmm. Me and my son was talking to each other back and forth. He was at school during his breaks, lunch, whatever it was. I talked to a few couple other people on it. I talked to some woman that was flirting with me big time. Um, I remember driving by. I don't know what day that was. I wanted to see who it was because I, I thought it was somebody I knew playing a game. You know. Who was it? I don't know. I still don't know. What if I told you it was that day? That day. That that happened? That happened on the same day that I was on the walkie talkie. With, the, with that Jody came up missing. I don't know. It wasn't the same day. I mean, I don't know. You could know. I mean, that could be a reason why your story's not making sense. If it was the same day and you weren't. You how would I remember unless someone's got it wrong down? That was the same day. To me, I don't think it was the same day. You know? You know how many years old this was? I do. What? What this. <laughs> I don't understand what this walking a dog thing. Did you try to pick up this girl over there by Station Street? No. No. Did you drive your truck over there? Did I drive my truck by? When you were on the radio with him? Yeah, I did drive my truck by. When you were on the radio with him? On Station Street? I can't remember if I was on the radio with him, but I did drive my truck by to see who it was. And I told, you know, I don't know if I told him or else about it. You know, these are going to be guys. There's somebody throwing pussy around, you know, trying to flirt with you. Guys are going to do what guys do. I understand. And that's your personal business. I mean, that has nothing to do, especially with the way your situation is now. Who cares? Your marriage just fell apart. Yeah. You tell me, Ryan, it doesn't mean shit now if I go say something to my sister, say something to my nephews, and say, you know what, I want to know what fucking happened here. I know you guys done that, but I'm their uncle. Does that help? Does that mean anything? Can I do that? What nephews are you referring to? Well, we talked about before. All of them. I don't care which one. I don't know who's all there, but you know what? If it helps, if it helps, I'll do it. You know, I told you that before. I 
because now, I mean, this completely blows my mind, and I don't care right now. I mean, someone in there needs to tell me the truth then. Seems like my damn sister is so full of all these answers and knows everything. Let me ask you this question. Is there any part of your story that you told me before that you want to change? Any part of the story? I don't know what, what would I change? Is there any... Is there any part of your, uh, is there any part of your account of what you did that night during your search pattern, during your evening before your wife got home from work that you lied about because you're worried about being somewhere you weren't supposed to be unrelated to this case? that you were worried about getting in trouble for with the wife that you had to maybe tell a little white lie to protect whatever it was you were doing. Mm -hmm. You're, how confident are you that you never left your house that day? And this needs to, you need to really I know, think I mean, about this one. I know, and it's like, <sighs> you're trying to tell me maybe that was the same day, the radio thing? I think there might have been a couple of days of it, actually. I mean, I don't, I don't think I left that day. I remember playing PlayStation football for the longest damn time. I don't remember leaving. I don't. Do you think that the girl told you that and maybe you needed to have an excuse to maybe be over there and walking I around in the walk, area? I didn't walk around there. I didn't help my dog out walking. I wasn't walking anywhere. I don't Are you know. Are you 100% sure on that? Uh, am I 100 percent sure of walking the dog? I don't know if you're walking. The dog. <laughs> walking around? Yeah, I wasn't walking around. I don't understand. You know, if you're saying on that day or whatever, well, you've always said all along you never left the house yeah. that day. There's no way. There's just no way. But you did. I <laughs> did. I don't get that. What did I go to the store? Did I? <sighs> I knew you were over by Tunnel Dam. I was over by Tumble Dam. What do you mean by over by Tumble Dam? Where it's actually at? I know you were over by Tumble Dam. I don't understand. Okay, I don't. That's why I'm trying to figure out if there is a reasonable explanation for you being there. I don't there. know why people think I was at Tumble Dam. I don't understand. Let's say to you, Brian. <laughs> you know the street that runs right next to it where you walk in at or whatever? Did I drive by there? No, you stopped. You got out of your truck. Oh, okay. No. Nope. Nope, Brian, I did not. I don't know who gave you this. It doesn't it. mean a thing, though. I understand, but I don't. And I, I don't want... <laughs> I don't, I just don't get it. Walk my dog and... You know, I'm not trying to be rude to you at all. You don't have to I, you know, I know, I, I, I know, I just, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say to you. I think whoever said this is full of shit. Nobody said it.
And I guess I just don't get it. Man. And I told you from the get go, I try to help you best I can. Like I told you, I ain't going down for someone else's shit. I don't know who did this, but I wish I could find out on my own. Whoever a long time ago, when we first talked, and uh, I asked you if uh, there was a possibility that you had driven through the cemetery before. Yeah, remember you asking that? I said, I didn't miss her. I don't. You said no. I don't think it is. No. You still stick to that? Yeah. I don't think I drove through there. I told you that you before. Know, that, Ray? Hmm. There would be... I just don't... There would be an absolute yes or no, because the freaking body was found in there. I so understand. If, if you had been in there before, that evening, and driven through there, it, you could have said that it would have been okay. Right, I understand that. I know what you're saying. That's why I went with not there. Maybe or maybe yeah, not. Yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't think I did. Thing. Thing. You know, I don't think I did. I told you that before. I know I was searching everywhere, and there's probably some spots that I missed in that time. I think one man even behind the post office and stuff. You know, and I don't know if that's in my report or not either, but I don't think I did. I don't mean Donker was across the road from it. Across the road from what? Some chair, the police car. I think we were getting gas. I think it was the same night. I think I told you that before, too. Yeah, you don't remember that. Hmm. He doesn't remember getting he gas. I, like I said, I don't know if it was and the, the same gas, night. And the gas things are all monitored, too. So. Okay. Which I'm sure you guys check. Okay. Wow. Wow. You also said that. Tell me, tell me again about, uh, and this is a story that you're going to have to stick with. Okay. What happened when you woke up that day? Which, now you're talking about the day it happened? Yeah. Uh, woke up, I guess, picked around the house and sure I ate lunch. When you dicked around the house, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know, yeah, picking out stuff, doing whatever. Your statement said that you played PlayStation and you were on the computer. Yeah. You said you were sure you were on the computer. You sure you're on the computer doing what? Um, I don't know. Maybe email, maybe talking about weather, sports, I don't know, the normal. Whatever. Did you look at porn. Have I before? I have before. Did you that day? I don't know. Bring me head computer. I think that's. Well, I, I might have. I mean, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie about that. Do you think that, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a human being like you are. You right. know, my wife's not around, you know, you know little shit. That's what people do, you know. It doesn't make anybody a bad person. Right. You know, it's normal, actually. I, yeah, I have. Do you think that with the uh, looking at porn and this girl and this two-way radio that you were kind of horned up a little bit? <laughs> I don't, like you said, you, you, you think it was on the same day, which... I don't know if it was. I mean, you guys are probably going to read it, but if it's all on. But I wanted to see who it was. I wasn't going after her or whatever, you know? You know, I, I don't know who did this, but, you know, I just didn't wake up that morning and say, hey, I think I'm going to change my lifestyle and be a... Whatever, you know. I mean, that's just crazy. I don't think that either. <laughs> Thank you. I, I I have never thought that, and I never will believe that. Cause that's not the case. That's why I think 
And, and again, I'm going to be brutally honest with you because that's just my nature. There, are, there. Um, this case has already been reviewed by the prosecutor's office, and the evidence about you is insurmountable. Okay. Now, this was a big case. Right. This made national news. Right. It could make national news again. It doesn't have to be that way. I understand that. You gotta promise me one thing. I don't know who did this, but if they hold me for whatever reasons for more questions, you don't give up looking. Promise me that. Whoever did this. I still am not convinced that you killed her. Is that what they're saying now? No. They're okay. saying that you put her there. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. You also said that uh, you never left your house that day. I don't think I did. Right? I'm telling you, you did. Okay, well. Do you know how far seven meters is? Mm -hmm. It's probably a distance of this room. Okay. That is the exact point that I can put you that day within a seven meter radius. That's not very big, right? Seven meter radius, what? Of that, of where her body was. Was I there? Of course I was that night. Before. I don't understand. Man. I know you don't understand, but that is, those though, that's indisputable. Hmm. The only explanation, and I'm going to be quiet because I don't know what else. There's only two explanations, in my opinion, knowing you the way I think I may know you. And that is that something bad happened and you got scared. Because I don't think anybody sought this girl out to kill her. There's a big difference between murder and an accidental situation right. that someone then has to cover up because they're scared to death about what just happened because they never intended it to be that way. Right. How murder is an intent crime. You have to have the intent to kill. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence to support that one way or another. It just isn't there. Nobody sought this girl out to kill her. There are a lot of people. You watch this Casey Anthony trial. Mm -hmm. You know about this thing. There are a lot of people who can sympathize with somebody who had to correct a situation that they found themselves in accidentally out of fear of being scared about, oh my God, you know, mm -hmm. this just went totally wrong. This was never meant to be the case. And I'm not sure what crime is even there, except for you creating a lot of mess for people trying to clean it up, you know, trying to figure it out. That does not make someone a horrible monster. That is an explanation that a lot of people will sympathize with. That you entered into a situation after it was already done and had to make things better, or you were already in the situation and had to make things better for yourself. Ray, there is no getting around that evidence. Remember I told you we had stuff everywhere? Mm -hmm. We had stuff out waiting for uh, forensic analysis, waiting for um, satellite imagery, waiting right. for uh, a couple of surveillance tapes that needed some editing and some uh, enhancement. We've gotten those things back. Let me ask you this, which I know you told me all this and I had nothing to do with it, but I can't be at two places at once. 
if I'm home with my family, supposedly this happened after whatever time it was. I can't remember what my sister said. She left it. I don't know, five o'clock, whatever it was. How could I partake in anything? You know? I don't get that. Uh oh. That's a bad sign. <laughs> you know what I mean, Brian? I just. Uh, I don't. That's why I don't understand what you're trying to say to me. Because it doesn't make sense. Um, because the uh, assumption by everybody about the time of this thing is off. Okay. So I'm just home by what the time that. That's wrong. Sister said. Okay. That's not right. Okay. So you're saying, Brian, when I walk out of here, I can't go chief's mass? You can do whatever you want to do. But this isn't going away. And it's going to... That's fine. It's, it's going to get worse. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do then is do a lot of praying and I hope you pray for me too, Brian. If I don't know. I've been praying for you the whole time. I appreciate because that. I believed in you. Well, I hope you still believe in me because I didn't put it there. I don't know who did. That's why that whole thing behind there, that was all I thought. But you said for sure that wasn't hers, so. My 100% convinced? No, I'm not. Just did. Right, that's not going to look good either. I mean, when that comes to court, you know, um, that, that was never even mentioned until way late. Yeah. No, I'm not the. Uh, I'm a Christian. I'm not a. Uh, you know, every weekend church going. Right. You don't have to be. A lot of people think you got to... my faith. Right. A lot of people think you got to go to church every weekend to be a Christian. No, you don't. You have a personal relationship with Jesus. If this was an accident... <laughs> it's an accident, I would tell you. Matter of fact, if it was an accident, it would have been done whatever... This wouldn't be going through this. I wasn't even finished. I wasn't mm -hmm. saying anything. If this was an accident, do you think that the person responsible would be going to jail? If this was an accident? Mm -hmm. Well, you would hope the person would have called it. I don't know. I still don't know how she is killed, whatever. But you think the person would have called, whatever, whatever happened, would have called an ambulance. Yeah, she says, Brian, they're going to keep bringing me into question. Should I leave my stuff there and not get a storage, or should I tell my son we're not moving? Um, you, you should probably continue doing what it is that you're doing. Because I know that that's not a good environment necessarily for him. I mean, He's looking forward to getting out. It's like I am. Turn my phone back on if you need to talk to me more. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't. I came down there today in a, kind of in panic. 
because uh, I know where this is going, and you don't. And uh, this is me reaching out to you, telling you that uh, uh, things are about to turn pretty bad for you. And, and uh, I thought that I would take an opportunity to See if you can't try to explain it to me so I can explain it to them because I am your voice. I really, I'm, I'm the sure. only person in this whole group that's ever said good things about you. They came at you hard from the beginning. And uh, they gave me a polygraph test and they had some suspicion. And I uh, went to bat for that. And uh, it's, it's uh, not true. You're, you're culpable in this to some degree, and I don't know what degree it is, and that's why that's why I ask you to come down here because this is your only opportunity. If we can start my lightning in here. That's a really bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that? If someone changes their story that about something that they said or something that they did, then that makes them a liar, then that makes them just look bad to me. Because I have already explained to you that I understand. I understand completely why lies are told. I told you a story once, and then um, maybe I didn't tell you all the details about a little problem I had. Yeah, you didn't go into it. I told big lies. It almost cost me my job. But you know what? You know what saved me in the end was the truth. Right. As hard as it was to say it, when I did, I had a huge relief off my shoulders because that's eaten at me, right. and I lived like that for a long time. And uh, I had some punishment that I had to deal with, but I don't have to look over my shoulder anymore. Right. And I don't have to worry about when it's going to catch up to me because I knew I had done well. Right. But the biggest thing that made it worse was me telling stories about it to try to save face for myself. I understand. That is understandable. I, I'm, I've lied. And I'm telling you to your face right now that, and that's why I'm so insistent about not lying now because I, I despise it because of how bad it hurt me. Emotionally, family-wise, all that. That's why I can look, I can look you right in the face right now and tell you that your story is a lie. Okay. And the only thing that's going to help you inside there, in your brain, in your heart, is, is to talk about it. Because this is not going to go away for you. I'm going to promise you that. Whether you give a story about it and try to make sense of it for people or not, it's not going to go away for you. The only thing that's going to make it any better is the truth. And you have my 100% word on that. I can relate. I've been there. Mine was... Me, and that's your personal business to tell. I guess what I'm just trying to convey to you is that uh, the truth made, made me live again. Right. You're going to have 
some problems here to come in soon with the judicial system. And the only thing that I can do for you from this point on is to tell the story for you. The story that you want to be told, not the one that they're going to put in everyone's head. I understand. And that story's not going to be pretty because they will paint you as an ugly man. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it, Brian. No. They're going to do that to me. Why? Whoever did this. They're going to do that to you because your story is not true, Ray. And that is that is one hundred percent accurate. Okay. None of those prior stories need to be heard. The story that happens today, right now, is the story that's going to be heard. That's why we made it formal. Right. Because all that stuff before is all that stuff before. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to go to making you look like the monster that they're going to paint you to be. You're scared. I understand that you're scared. I'm in your lifeline right now. Sure. And you are reaching for it. And that's going to be a bad thing for you. I don't know if you think that you're the greatest person in the world, liar-wise or whatever, but I'm here to tell you that if you don't reach for some help right now, that rope is going to get pulled in. And I understand that, but I, you know, I'm admitting to something I didn't do. You know? I am not admitting to something I didn't do to make everybody happy. Nobody's going to be happy. It's a sad situation. It is. It's screwed up. Yeah, it is. Nobody's ever going to be happy about it. It's a bad thing. It's a bad deal. I understand deal. it is. If there's somebody that you love that or have been threatened by to keep your mouth shut. This is the time to say. I know. If I was being threatened, you'd know. Because I would ask, I would ask for protection. I would ask to get out of this town. But you know what, Brian? I am going to ask questions. Ask questions to who? My sister and them. Why do you keep? Why do you keep? Wanting because to you know what? I, I want to know. So I want to know what went on personally for them guys. Because you know what? My sister, shortly after I had a nervous breakdown, whatever you want to call it, and sometimes in my heart I still think that she knows more than what she's saying. If there's a way somehow to get something out of her, I'm going to try because you know what? So I can quit going through this stuff. You're not going to be able to get past putting the herd there. I will right, turn my phone back on if you need me.
will be my address. The rest of the stuff off the building. You're not hearing me. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care about you having the phone on. I don't care about where you're staying. I care about you. You don't know me from Adam. You may think I'm blowing smoke up your ass. I'm not that way. I care about you. And you don't care about me right now. I do care about me. Am I worried right now? Hell yeah. I am worried. I'm worried about my kids. I'm worried about myself. Yes, I'm worried. Let's make an assumption here for a second. Okay? Play along. Yeah. Let's make the assumption that you put her in the cemetery. Tell me what would be the only explanations for that. I don't know. Why would I? I don't know. You know, just like they've talked in the past, and just like you talked earlier, if something would have happened somewhere or whatever, I'm not the type of person to cover up. I'm going, I would call an ambulance. You know, I work for this department. That's my job. You know, I wasn't brought up to, you know, by my family to, you know, I know the rest of my family's in and out of drugs and stuff like that, but I'm not. I've got to know quite a bit of your family since I've been down here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you that I agree with what you just said, 100%. You create an environment for kids that is more appropriate than what was on at your sister's house. Your brother has had his share of troubles, along with his wife along with their children, mm -hmm. along with your sister's kids, along with Jody and her brothers in that family, your family is better than that. And I know that and I believe that. You should be proud of that. I am proud of our family. You have some, you can take credit for that. Because it's not just your wife. I, I think of a lot of it as you. You're involved. You make rules. You set boundaries. And you're a good parent. You coach. You're overall a good guy. There is no doubt in my mind that you are better at that type of thing, family business, than anyone else in your family. But this day was a bad day. That doesn't take away from all those things, but it will if you let it. And that's right about where you're at, because you're going to let it. You're going to let somebody else tell a story about how you raped this little girl and pulled her bra up and all these things and what a horrible, horrible monster you are because that's the story that they're going to tell because they have to paint a picture. I know, Brian, but and that's they have, they have stuff to support that to a degree, but they're going to twist it I know. to support that. But there is stuff that you can't get over. I, I can't even explain it. How it blows your story 
about certain things and where you were and what you did that afternoon and into the time when you were searching that dude you're on video you're on video in multiple places in this town thank god for dvr because they never got these videos in most places keep a, a, a vcr tape for you know a few months but thank god for hard drives in digital imagery. You're screwed, Ray. <laughs> just don't get it. <laughs> just give me that call. I'm sorry, Brian. I just don't get it. I didn't have my computer yet, Brian. I thank you for everything. You, you don't have to thank me for anything. If you, if you have any one ounce of faith in me in my relationship with you then you will tell the truth about what happened or that picture is going to be painted which i promise you oh, i know i understand what you're saying which is bullshit you think it's embarrassment i mean is it more of an embarrassment than actual facts about what happened that you worry about There's about about how what everybody's going to think of Ray McCann I don't care what people think I mean it's you know look at all the shit they put on my space or whatever the hell that is people can't see that stuff just people that are within that group and we already told you we just talked about that group There is nothing from this case or my toggle with you right now that's going to find its way anywhere. I'm just think I'm being set up. You're not being set up at all, right? Who would want to set you up? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe the kid was doing something wrong. I'm telling you, there's a story there. And you're you're the good guy. And maybe the kid was doing something wrong. And you tried to take some action to correct it. And something bad happened. You know what I mean? Maybe and then and then then it's like, oh my god. I had nothing to do with it, Brian. Jody is not a good kid. I don't know her history. Do you believe me? Do I believe you? I believe you're telling me the truth. You know, why Why would you not? I mean, what would be the purpose? There is no purpose. You either have to believe me or you don't. Right. And I hope you're saying I, I, I believe you. You know, I'm scared to hell right now, Brian. I don't That's know what's going to go on or what's going to happen. I, I, I can tell you one thing. I had nothing to do with it. And, I know, like you said, they're going to paint a picture like you're, you know what? That's exactly what they're going to do. You know what? And they can prove it. Some of it. I don't understand. There is nothing, look at me, there is nothing that you can tell me right now that will prevent you from walking out this door. I told you that that's going to happen, and that's going yeah, to happen. I told you. You are not under arrest. I understand. There is nothing that you could say to me 
that is going to change that today. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that there is coming a time real soon that that's not going to be the case. I'm telling you that you don't want to tell me. I know what you're saying. If there ever was one person that would be good to have on your side in this in this case with the group of people that is assigned to this team, it's me. And you need to reach out to me right now. I wish you could, Brian. Yeah, you can, right? <laughs> There's just one little thing right there. There's just one little thing right there that's keeping me from doing it. It's it's because you're scared. It, right? It's, it, it, no sense being scared anymore. It's already it's already done. Yeah. I just don't want to tell you. I mean. <sighs> I had nothing to do with it. I don't know how far to go on with it. But it was <sighs> it was just like back there. And all my wife thought I was nuts when I was all mentioning that. She thought I was dreaming it. And I wasn't dreaming it. That's what went down back there. Tell me about DMS when you went there again. Went inside. Told me we had a missing person. You said you had me on video there a certain time. Where'd you park? Probably right out in the front parking lot. Probably? Sure. <laughs> but I pulled right in there. Did you put her there first? Brian. I didn't move her. I didn't do anything, Brian. I wish I could help you. You have to help me, right? I know what you're saying. I need to help. Damn it, Brian, I didn't do anything wrong. I know I need you. Yeah, I guess you don't. <laughs> I mean, you don't need me at all. You can fight this battle. No, I can't fight this battle because this is the crock of shit. I don't know what I could add. I thought I was nuts about that uh, down there. You know, I've had dreams about this damn thing. You know, at least 
He's true to dreams. What do you dream? I had a dream a long time ago, and I didn't mention anybody. At least, I'm sure it's a dream because it seemed too vivid. I dream. Remember, and I know they've been talking about this, but I remember dreaming about a white van, two guys in it. I can even, in the dream, it's so vivid, I remember seeing my son off to the side, like I was picking him up one day in the dream, and, and I remember this fat girl, which is one of the girls that were with that group. Black guy and a white guy. But I remember that, it hadn't been a dream because it seemed so vivid. It seemed so... But I know it's a dream, that's why I felt worried about saying anything about it. What happened in this dream? In the dream, I remember pulling up behind her. I can even... It's a dream, it's invented. I can even show you the spot near the school. I remember my son off to the right, that girl there. Black guy was driving, white guy. And I had big ponytails, big sideburns. See, it seemed the dream, it seemed so... Real to me, you know what I mean? Or that another thing, maybe I seen something a long time ago and my wife thinks I'm nuts or whatever, I don't know. Just like that down there. But what, what, what happened in this dream? I don't get it. You well, know, nothing. Nothing happened. What the girl, girl, the Jody? No, but it was kind of heavy set girl. It was with that group that was down here. And I remember this van there and taking off, turn around, taking off. But I think I dreamt that because I think I've heard stories about a white man. See, I was afraid to bring that up because I don't want people thinking I'm nuts. But to me, I think mean, it was just a dream. I just wanted to get that off my shoulders, that's, I guess. That's what I wanted to get off my shoulders, that was it. You had a dream about a white van with a black guy and a white guy and the fat girl and your son in it. Oh, I think there's more people in the background, but what is it? I can't. Why does that make anybody, That's what does that have to do with anything? Well, I think what it has to do with, because I think that night, I dreamt it later, I think, just because during that night, me and Donker even looked for a white van. And then we're back here, we're over here in the spark lot, searched a white van, just looking at it. I think that's what made me dream that. Want to talk about some hard stuff now? Talk about what? Some difficult things? Anything ever happened to you when you were little? Anything happened to you when you were little? Like you never told anybody about? I don't know. Just family members or anything? No, I can recall. Have you ever molested? Was I? I don't think so. <laughs> Unless I was a little bit known. How were your parents to you? How were your parents? I looked up my dad. It's like I am, you know, our um, ideas go to me. You know, all the kids in sports. Miss them. Yeah. Miss them. It's been 11 years. Still think about them. Miss your mom? Yeah, I do. We've talked about that. Come over and see her. Not that much. I told you one. I don't think we're going on that roof, bro. It's not our, you know, the kids miss her too. It's just not our style 
the way things are going, you know, in it, people in it and all there. But yeah, I do miss my mom. Your mom believes in you. She loves you. Yeah. Whether you see her or not, she I know that she does. Yeah. I, I don't either. I mean, that's bothered me, but you know, I just didn't want to say anything because it was a dream. You know, and I don't want people, you know, my aunt, Andrew, when I told her about that down here, she thought I was dreaming that, so I didn't mention this to her because I don't want it, you know. But it was, it was a dream that is pretty damn, I don't know what's the word, vivid, the word where it's kind of. Mm -hmm. you know, if I had a picture of that as a heavy set chick girl, I could tell you who it, who it was in the dream. But you know, the heavier set. It's a heavier sick. I think then she's a little shorter, but I'm a plump kid. Yeah, I picture I can. Yeah. Some flutters? Did I? Mm -hmm. I did years ago. Adam Flutter. But you know what? I wanted to get that off my chest. But. I'm sure Ryan, it was a dream. That didn't make sense to me. I mean, I'm confused. I'm, I'm just confused about you getting something off your chest that doesn't have anything to do with this case. You told me before. Well, I, it doesn't have anything to do with the case. I don't know. I'm just telling you, I'm just trying to give you everything I can give you. You know what I mean? You told me you want me to give you whatever I can, and I guess that's what was bothering me. And I wanted to so what was bothering you? You had a dream about a van. Yeah. Because to me, because we looked for a van, white van, and that's the only reason why I wanted to just add that to it. That's the only reason. Because I don't know. You know, it was a dream I had, and I guess I want to make sure it was a dream, not something I've really seen one day. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Is it possible? You know, I don't know. Is it, yeah, it's possible. I mean, it's something that's, that's, I had to get it out. You know, you told me to get whatever out of it. That's all I am. Yeah, but I don't want people to think I'm not as well. But there's nobody in here but me. I understand. Because it's like you said earlier, well, you didn't bring that up till later. Well, you know, my wife the whole time thought I was nuts about that down there. That was real. So I didn't want to bring this up either because me, this one might have been a dream. You know. But if it was a dream, it was a pretty you know, vivid. I mean it's isn't a dream I can remember. You now I remember my son standing off to the side that every set girl. It was like I was picking my son over. Hey, you didn't have your phone, huh? This is not on. This one says he's with his girlfriend, you right know. Probably wondering where if I'm coming back or what. So, what's he texting you on if you have his phone? Probably his new phone. He's got a new phone now. But no, Brian, I brought the three of because I don't know. I'm just 
I guess that's what bothered. I know it was a dream, but I want to make sure to myself it was a dream. Do you ever have any dreams about Julie being at your house? Have I had any dreams of her being there? Can I call him real quick? Hey, I'll be back that way in a little while. I'm gonna give you a call, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the stuff in the storage. Alright, love you. Okay. Okay. Bye. How long do you think we'll be on here? We don't have to stay anymore. Tell them what Brian happened next. Brian, I, I just wanted to bring that up because I want to make sure to myself that it was a dream. But I, I felt I needed to get it out. They had a dream about a white man with a black man, with a white man in it, mm -hmm. and a heavy set girl. Mm -hmm. She was in the van too? No. All of a sudden, I'm here. By yourself. I'm not real close. He was back for the injury. He was back for the She was up closer. Where was this at? Here in the old middle school. I guess I don't know. Where I, I don't, don't know. know how this ties into anything. Well, like I said, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I want this off my mind. Just because we searched for a white man that time. And I probably, the reason why I'm bringing it up. But they didn't need to look for a white I mean, Hawker did. You know, but you didn't need to. Okay. That's the only reason I'm bringing it on. Do you know what we found on your computer? Mm -hmm. It's your computer, you would know. You know, everything, even though it's deleted, is not deleted. Do right. you know that? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about what we might have found on there? Like you said, we might found some porn spots. Like what? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do, Randy. Don't be a porn spot. I mean, you know? Was there a place that you would go regular? Mm -hmm. My computer is all hooked up. I don't know how it works. All from my sisters. I'm part of her people with PC thing. I'm sure you already know that. So I take it, I was going out for a beer or something to hang in my huh? There are going to be some charges coming from this. 
on me. And the only thing that they are going to be able to say for sure is that you put her there. They're going to try to get, charge me with that. That's a crime. That's a crime. <laughs> but then what they're going to do from it is they're going to spin off of that. That, you know, if there's this gruesome, ugly murder, and, you know, why if the guy isn't covering up for anyone else or threatened by anybody else, then he must be responsible. And these are the things that uh, happened to the girl, and and uh, that that's the that's the story that's going to be told. And I believe that there's another story to be told. And for whatever reason, either you're too proud or you're too scared you're to uh, just. Uh, say how there was never any intent for it to be I understand what you're saying. that way mm-hmm. and then this whole thing is going to take a whole another turn that would benefit you more than the other way I don't know what you're saying. but you may know it and you believe it I didn't do it but you won't you won't I am at a loss because if somebody was telling me that if this if something, if something happened somewhere and I like to say my sisters or whatever and I came up on it you think I'm just gonna cover it up I'm gonna be calling an ambulance cop or whatever you know I'm not gonna oh gee we better cover it up I guess no you're right but this is what they want to know before they're uh what they're going to do is, is they're going to say that you, you <laughs> killed her. Jesus. You killed her for sexual gratification. And they're going to use the porn stuff. Mm-hmm. They're going to, you know where they're going to go with it. And I'm telling you, that you could prevent that you know I leave here I want to try to get some answers because this is bullshit man <laughs> but you don't have to look any farther for answers than right there yeah, I understand that but I, I, I don't know what else to tell you but this is personal and this is bullshit it is personal mm-hmm not personal toward you. It's not an attack on you. It's what it's exactly where the evidence took it's, this case. Okay. okay. It's I not some, everything you say. It's not just some, you know, haphazard freaking stretch to go out and just harass somebody right. and get in their shit because we can't find anybody that killed a girl. This is for real, right? Okay. Your life is about to change big time. Believe me, I'm scared, Brian. I am. But you know what? You didn't have nothing to do with it. What do you do? But if you did have something to do with it, what do you do? It's the same. It's the same predicament. I know. It's the one was already done. You gonna be here all day tomorrow? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Well, what happens tomorrow? Not no one will choose some ass. I know you said they don't make a difference, you're right? You don't. But you know what? Ray, all you're gonna do by doing that is is you're gonna qualify the things they're gonna say about you. You're going to go off on a tangent because now you're even more scared 
for the reasons we talked about, and you're going to give them more ammunition to make you look like that evil man. So don't. So no, 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 we'll say nothing. No, because you don't need to, right? Okay. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do is grab hold of the freaking buoy that I'm throwing you. I know. You know, you won't do it. I don't know what to tell you, Brian. I don't know what to tell you. Damn, I wish I did. You do. I don't know. What to you tell do. You. Okay. Brian. Scared. I don't know what to say. Then I know you don't know what to say. I know that what you think you might say is going to cause you, incriminate you, or make you, it's bad. I know that. You don't know what you can say and what you can't say because you already told this and you said that, and now you're, you're scared, scared you more. That's what you said. No, you don't. You're not, <laughs> you're just not getting, you don't trust me, I guess. No, I do, more. but I didn't do anything. Ray, yeah. listen to me. Okay. Listen to me. You did. And, and and it can be proven that you did. You're not a bad guy, dude. No one not. You're you're a good guy. But whatever went wrong went wrong accidentally. It's it's all right. I understand that, Ronnie. But I didn't put it there. We can sit here all day and do this. I'm telling you, I didn't put her there. I don't care what Joe Blow said or whatever. Joe Blow didn't say anything. All right. This isn't coming from somebody that just is talking okay. or thinking they saw something. Or, you know, because someone could see a truck that looks like your truck. It's nothing like that. Okay. It's evidence. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between what someone freaking said and what we see with our own eyes. That's why I'm here to tell you. When, when you walk out of here today, like you would no matter what, mm -hmm. the sun's going to rise tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're going to take a breath like you did today, and you're going to go about your business. And we can work through where we're going to go from there. Okay. Without a change in you, that might not be the case. Basically, you're saying they're going to come and get me eventually, trying to put that on me. They're not going to have... Very hard work to try. Okay, I understand. But that's what you're saying, though. Yeah. And I'm saying that the whole case lies in my hands to a degree, because I'm the one that takes it to the prosecutor. And I'm the one that writes the report and tells the story. All the stories up until now have been in another officer. Works. And my stuff from what we've talked about isn't all in the report. The story that is going to come is this one. And you're making a mistake right now. I didn't put it on the There's a way I can find out who did it, I tell you. What, what, what's killing me is. I, see I trust you, Brian, but you know what? I didn't do it. I didn't put it there. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. Am I scared? Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know what's going to happen now. They're going to try to fucking make me look like I did it. And there's nothing I can do about it. i got to go home and tell my son this. Can I go soon? Hey, hey, I'm going to keep it here. 
they do trust you. They do need your help if that's what they're going to do. It is what's going to happen. But I'm not going to help somebody. And I'm sorry, I call it like it is. I'm not going to help somebody that sits right in front of me and looks me in the eye and lies to my face. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't put it in it. Well, okay. This is what happened. Either it was an accident or you're covering for someone else. And that's what they think. Yeah, because they're going to be able to show that you put her there. <laughs> Can I, can I ask you something? What happened? What would happen if uh, Sheer or Donker uh, ran across at the gas station in Chapel Hill? Oh, no, just listen. And they caught him and they put him in handcuffs and they were going to take him down to the police station and he was laying on his stomach or something in the police car and they had this positional fixation or something like that, you know, where because of some medical conditions or whatever, they're just in a bad position and they die. Mm -hmm. Imagine that happening. Now they're like, what the fuck just happened? What, what do I do? You know, is the first thing to say, well, I handcuffed this kid and he died? No, that's not. The, the most human nature would be, how do, I, how do I make this better for me? You know, plus, how do I, how do I get this kid to be found, you know, away from me? Well, okay. And now they deal with that forever and ever and ever. Now, what would you say to them? If you knew without a doubt that they put him in the cemetery and they just wouldn't say, well, how would you feel towards them? If I absolutely knew. Yep. Well, of course, you know, you're going to have angry. You're going to, but they, uh, their physicians shouldn't do that. A human shouldn't do that, period. What if it was the accident that I just described? Would you well, would you hold it against them? Would I hold it against them? I'd have no choice. Would you be angry at them? Would you call them a killer? I wouldn't call them a killer. Accidents happen. But they wouldn't be a killer. You see where I'm going? I see what you're saying. That's what I think happened here. I think... I know you're not a killer. Do you think I came up on something and put her there? I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly what happened, but I do think that, well, I know that you're involved. But I don't know the story. That's why there's a story for you to tell. Well, and I need to go find out, really. Because I didn't find out. I am going to go get some talking. Because this is a crock, and not, like I said, I'm not against you, Brian, but you know, Brian, I'd like to leave soon. You can go anytime you want. And I'm sorry for all the trouble, but. What are you sorry to do? What trouble? What trouble are you causing me? I don't know. You said you're going to get in trouble with your sergeant or. Turn my phone back on, too.